Hi girls. I've got a little flip card for you to do today. It's a double flip. It opens that way and then it opens that way. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, have this long piece of card and all the measurements will be in the instructions that you fold in half. Then you have this little short piece and I have measured in one centimetre in from one side and I'm just going to put the ruler up there and just fold it up like that. Okay. Now then what we're going to do is we're going to take that and I'm going to glue it onto that side or all the way around. But I'm only going to put the glue I'm oh, sorry about the dogs. I'm only going to put the glue on this little section here. Come on puppy, pop pop, come here and sit down. Stop your noise. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Come sit down. Don't need to bark. Okay, so I've got that stuck on there. Eddie, come here. Come on. And then we've got this other piece of card and what we're going to do is put glue all over the back of this. Or tape if you prefer to use tape and I'm going to put this in the middle so it's even on both sides and level with the top make it even with the top there the fold even with the top and the same amount of distance either side now the next thing we do is we have these little pieces and they're double sided and I think I like that side better than that side and the other side and I'm going to stick one on either side there. Notice I've got them cut a little bit longer than the card so that after I've stuck them on and I'm gonna I like that little edge down the bottom there so I'm gonna put that on and make it go that way. Uh, I need to lift it up and see that I've got it level at this end and straight along that edge there and do the same on the other side there we are there now what we can do is in order to make sure that we've got nothing overlapping. If you turn it over the back, see you've got a little bit of white sticking down there. So I'll cut that off. So it, in, it finishes just dead on the end of the card there. And those little ones sticking up the top there, I'll just cut them as well. Now, I've got this piece here, and it's got two sides to it, and I think I prefer that blue side. So I'm going to stick that dead on top like that. Now I'm just going to make sure that that's dead level with the fold there. And it completely covers this card here make sure it's sitting on there nicely like that and I've still got a bit extra here so I'll cut that off as well and then the next thing to do is we have another piece like this and we stick that on that piece there on the flap Oh, let's have a look see whether I like that bit better I'm not sure whether I like that that looks cold that looks warm that's a hard choice
I think I'll go with the cold look. Okay. I'll stick that on the flap. Like that. Now that I've got it on the flap, I'm going to make sure that the flap doesn't overlap the end there too. See that? Like that. So there we have that so far. Now, I this particular stamp I used comes as a big piece like that with all that writing on it. Now I want the happy birthday and I want the UR number one. I just stamp the lot and then I can use the others at a later date rather than separating them all and have to stamp them all one at a time. So I'm just going to cut off the uh, actually what I might do is use this ruler to get an even line through there and an even line through this way first I'll just put that against there make sure it's the same distance all the way along like that and then I can line these up because it's a bit hard to tell if I've got it even by just eyesight alone all right and then I'm going to cut these ends off relatively close to the end of happy birthday at either end make sure that sits on the line so that we're getting it at a 90 degree angle now the you are number one you may as well cut that at the same time so first of all of course I didn't stamp this straight on at the right angle. See how that's off skew if? I need to get this um, cut level. Love you. Just come up there a little bit. Make sure that's straight. And then the new one, number one. See how close it is there? Well, we need to make it that close on the other side as well. So it looks even. So I'll just cut down this way first. And then across this way. And keep that straight along that line see how there's a small gap there put about the same gap on the other side and there we've got that cut as well so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to color the happy birthday in in a bright blue to go with this card Um, and then all I'm going to do is use a bit of um, uppy tape or as I, I should say mounting tape on the back and add that to our flap on the front. Happy birthday there. And then on the inside you've got this little UR number one and that can go in the middle there now I like that I'm going to cut a little bit of that off so that it's got a more even border all the way around so I have a look at that I might bring that up to about there I think 
keep that straight bring that down a bit about that all the way up. now I'm not going to mount the one on the inside because you want to be able to close the card properly so this little bit goes in here at the top and then there's this little one you can either choose to colour it or not to I won't for the video's sake but I may do later gives you a good look at what's going on there we are there you are number one and there's happy birthday there now the other thing I have done is I have got myself a glue dot now you'll put the glue dot out on the flap here right on the edge but don't stick it down what you need to do is rub it on a, um, a pair of jeans or um, fabric or something like that in order to get it to lose some of its tack I'll try it on this piece of um, fabric here and see if it'll work like that of course when you see how it sticks really well to start with keep doing it it works really well on a pair of jeans if you've got a pair of jeans but you're not going to see my jeans they're on me so I won't get it under the video camera but see now it's losing its tack see it's not lifting it up anymore so therefore it's lost its tack it's got a little bit of tack just enough to hold it down but not enough to rip the paper up when you lift the paper okay so there's our first one there's our second one but you could do the same card 20 times and everyone would look different uh, by just changing the paper okay guys I hope you enjoyed that talk to you later bye for now